Our new topic is momentum. We're going to try to understand momentum using Newton's first law, second law, and third law. Right now, we're going to try to understand momentum using Newton's first law, using a moving car as an example. Take a look at this moving car. Momentum is how badly a moving car likes to stay in motion. That's momentum. So what did I say? Momentum is how badly a car in motion like to stay in motion forever. That's momentum. That's remind us about Newton's first law. What did Newton's first law second part say? Newton's first law second part say object in motion like to stay in motion forever, forever unless acted upon by imbalance power. So we can write an equation. Even it's so small that we can write it on the table. P equal to mb. So P is momentum, m is mass and v is velocity. So m is kilogram, b is meter per second. So uh, m is a scalar quantity, v is a vector quantity, so momentum is a vector quantity because when you multiply scalar with a vector, then you get a vector quantity. So what uh, did we do for the last few seconds? We try to understand momentum using Newton's first law. Now we're going to try to understand momentum using Newton's second law. Now let's make a connection between momentum and Newton's second law, which is f equal ma, which is the most famous equation in all sciences along with e equal mc squared. So Newton, 1665, while sitting under an apple tree, inspired by fall of an apple. And he started thinking about falling apple, falling moon problem, which allowed him to write Newton's second law, which, is, which he published in 1687 as a book, Principia. However, in Principia, he did not write F equal MA. He wrote what he wrote. His second law, he wrote delta P over delta T. All right? Newton did not write F equal M and Newton wrote F equal to delta P over delta T. All right. So now let's see. That this is why we are making this uh, amazing connection, Newton's second law and momentum, because this is the same. Newton's second law is momentum. Momentum is Newton's second law. So what is F that? F that is, uh, or a P is MB. So what is MB? All right. So we can think about delta V. That means MV final, All right, minus MV initial over t final minus t initial f net is equal to m v final minus v initial over t final minus t initial so we can write m delta v m delta v over delta t all right delta v over delta t what do we know about delta v over delta t acceleration so f net is equal to ma so momentum is newton's second law newton's second law is momentum however newton did not write f equal ma he wrote f equal to delta p over delta t to talk about Newton's third law, we talk about action and reaction. Action and reaction. Okay, so let's ball A and ball B. All right. So they collide. They collide. So F, the force on B by A is equal in one magnitude with force on A by B. All right, so I already show you Newton, uh, Newton's second law. Newton's second law in terms of what? In terms of how Newton wrote it. Basically, he wrote it like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna write it like that. So F naught, F naught is equal to delta P over delta T. Now we're gonna do cross multiplication. You can do cross multiplication because people in the first grade can do cross, cross multiplication. F naught is delta T. Now, this is momentum. We first gonna concentrate on ball B. You understand that there is a force acting on ball B because there is a ball A. So this force is due to ball A. If you remove ball A, then there will be no force on ball B. Okay, as simple as that, very easy. So I'm gonna replace this one over here. So I'm gonna write momentum on ball B is equal to what? Momentum of ball B is equal to that. F naught times delta T. So momentum of ball B change of momentum. So I can write PB final minus PB initial. Uh, it's a mouthful, but it's easy. PB, PB final minus PB initial is equal to F naught delta T. Now PB final, PB initial, what is that? How can we, I write it that? I can write it like, I can write it that as uh, the momentum. Momentum is MB. So then PB, it would be MB, VB. So let's do that. Let's do that. So MB, VB final minus MB, VB initial, this two are vector, is equal to F naught delta T. Okay, so we just made 50% uh, progress. Now we're gonna do uh, the remaining 50%. So
So now we finish with the ball number B. Now we're gonna do the same thing for ball number A. What are you gonna do? We're gonna write Newton's second law. F naught is equal to delta P over delta T. Now we're gonna cross multiply. That delta P is equal to F naught delta T. So now this is on ball a so but there is a force on ball a because there is a ball b if you remove ball b then there will be no force on ball a so you're going to replace this one f a b is equal to f naught delta t now what are you going to write we're going to write before uh, we're going to write this is change of momentum so change of momentum how can you write change of momentum change of momentum you write the before uh, the, the final minus initial so you're going to write m a uh, v minus m a v so this is the f this is the this is the final this is the initial so make sure you get the final this is the half sign half sign means final and this is a vector quantity so f naught delta t all right so we are making progress how are you going to make progress but make sure you write negative why you write negative over here because this is to the west they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so make sure you write uh, ball b f b f on b due to a f on a due to b these two back to our same in magnitude opposite in direction right? m a v um uh, minus m a v this is a this is a this is a is equal to negative i'm gonna write m b v b minus m b v b okay so what am i gonna do make sure you wrote uh, you write parenthesis so now i'm gonna distribute this parenthesis and let's see what happened m a v minus uh there make sure you write a, a m a v a is equal to minus m b v b all right don't go don't go don't go don't go don't go don't go okay so plus m b v b v a final plus m b v b final is equal to m a v a initial plus m b v b initial m a v a plus m b v b is equal to m a v a final plus m b v b final now we saw that we made a connection with momentum with newton fast law why because the how badly a moving object like to stay in motion that's the connection with the newton fast law newton second law we show the connection because momentum is newton second law and third law we just make the connection this is the newton second law connection this is the newton third law connection all right watch it as many times as needed uh, to understand this this is not as bad as it looks like Bari science lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming.